Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we'll be working on the FC RX-7. So we all know how fun it is to go fast, but the focus of today's episode is actually gonna be upgrading the brakes as well as doing a little bit of appearance. Unfortunately, some of the FCs did come with four lug hubs as well as single piston brakes up front and non-vented brakes in the rear. So that does limit the wheel choices. So we are gonna fix that today by installing five lug hubs as well as four piston calipers from the Turbo 2 and vented brakes as well. We also have brand new rotors, brake pads, and fluid to install. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start by removing as much fluid from this master cylinder as possible. This uh, fluid looks pretty gross, so we'll try to get as much out of there as possible. And then uh, after we're done installing all the new brakes, we'll put new fluid and bleed it as well. All right, we're gonna get started with the fronts um, just because I think it'll probably be easier. So what I'm gonna do is raise the car and then remove the wheels and then we'll go from there. I don't know about you guys, but I am pretty excited to get rid of these wheels. All right, once we have the wheel off, the first thing that we're gonna do is disconnect the brake line going to the caliper. Then we'll remove this clip that's holding the female junction in place. All right, now we could work on removing the caliper and the spindle, but before we do that, we're gonna wanna loosen a few bolts just to make it easier while it's still in place. So the steering rack, outer tie arm to spindle, we're gonna remove that nut as well as this bolt right here that is basically holding on that ball joint. So that way we could pop it off easy without having to worry about removing that bolt first. All right, this is a 17 mil nut right here. And then on the ball joint, we have a 14 mil bolt. All right, with all of those disconnected, we can remove the caliper. It's just two 17 mil bolts holding it to the spindle. And now we can remove these two 17 mil nuts that are holding the spindle to the shock. All right, and here we have it, the old four lug spindle on the hub. Here's our newly used five lug front spindle with a hub. And we're basically gonna just do the exact opposite of what we just did to remove our old one. All right guys, well with our spindles and five lug hubs installed, we can install our new Turbo 2 spec brake rotors and calipers and new pads. Now for braking components, I have been going with the PowerStop Evolution stuff. Um, I find that it's really affordable and performs pretty well. Um, I did go with the cross drilled and slotted rotors. So let's get all this installed. So I'm gonna slide my new rotor on, make sure you are installing the correct side. Now we'll remove the old pads and you'll see that we have a bunch of clips holding these pads in and the kit, power stop kit does come with replacement clips. So let's just remove this first. So now we'll get our new pads installed. You wanna make sure you have lubricant on your backing plates and that your pistons are fully retracted. So you'll install the pin, and then you have one of your retainers. Okay. 
Okay, once you have your pins through, you'll just put these retainers in their holes. And then you might have to slightly rotate these pins so that you could get your final retainer in. And there you have it, this is good to go. Now we could install our caliper onto the spindle. And before you do install it, you just wanna make sure that you are installing the right side. The lead should be on the top. Now we just have to hook up our brake line from our caliper to our hard line. And I have a new line right here and a new clip as well. I think on the other side, I'll probably install this off the car because it's kind of annoying. So I temporarily zip tied it. All right guys, well we have one side completed and I am just like blown away as to how good this looks even with the wheels that are definitely not gonna be the first choice but I am just so psyched to have five lugs. Just so many more options and the brakes look awesome as well. guys well like you saw we did run out of daylight so that's going to conclude part one of our FC 5 lug conversion in part two we'll pick up right where we left off and tackle the rears it should be pretty much the same thing we'll just have to press the axles into the hubs but then other than that it should be pretty straightforward in other news I've had a few of you reach out to me about making more tune-in videos and originally I was gonna tune the Evo and just get a dyno to make a video on that but instead I am gonna make a new video on how to upgrade the injectors in an Evo and then make those compensations in the tune for the stock ECU. So look forward to that. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next FC video. Peace out.